This video will be about something that if you apply to your own business in OFM, doesn't matter if it's the traffic, the chatting, whatever, it will put a 5x, 10x multiplier to every single dollar you make. So let me get back at it. What I'm telling you, this is no clickbait. This is no like, oh, I'm telling you like a cool script to chat with. No, this is something you've never heard of. And it is the difference between the actual value and the perceived value. Let me quickly explain the topic and then I'll tell you how you can apply it to your business. So let me give you a quick example. You see this back here? How much do you think it's worth? Like just, just in your mind, how much do you think it's worth? Probably something between like one grand, whatever. You see, you, you imagine like something bigger than $50 or whatever. The reason of that is because there are some little logos and some little design on it that makes you think, oh, it's a designer brand and it's worth it and it's, it has status. Like if you see someone with it outside on the street, you think, wow, he's such a cool guy because he has some logos on his fucking bag. Okay, I could show you another bag that I don't have with me. Just a simple plain black bag, okay? You would probably think it's worth $10. And you would also not assume all this different stuff with it. And the reason of that is, is the perceived value. This is the reason why there are big brands, why there are luxury brands, watches, whatever. Perceived value is what brands use to get you into buying a product that is not worth as much as you think it is. Because this fucking bag, it probably costs like $5.20 to put it together, to ship it to me. So I could probably buy it for like $8 and it would still be profit. It's not actually worth that much. But what I'm, what I'm actually paying for is the perceived value by my peers. Now, you get the point, I believe. And now you want to apply this to your own business because you have been working with this principle since the day you started, but you just never realize. Let me give you an example. There's porn on the internet, like literally for free, like millions of hours of free porn of like exactly the type of girl you like, etc. Why would a subscriber pay $200 for a script just to jerk off? It doesn't make sense, except there is a perceived value, the way he sees the content he's buying, attached to the videos he's currently buying. So maybe it's the exclusivity that he's the only one seeing this because it's recorded live. Maybe it's the fantasy that it's being recorded secretly and her family on the room next to her, whatever. Or it's her branding that he's like, oh, this is like the same job I have. I can imagine her at the workplace with me, whatever. There's always something that's gonna give the content perceived value. And you just have to find out what it is and how you can improve it. So I just gave you three examples. Let me give you basic advice on how you can implement this. Right now, maybe you have a script or some content you can sell. And it's just a video of her removing her top, showing her body. Okay, cool. But like I said, there's millions of hours of that. One click away on the fucking internet. Nobody's gonna pay more than 10 to $20 for this because it's not really that interesting, is it? Like, there's a lot of titties out there. Like, hers aren't made out of, out of diamonds especially. Maybe they are. Then you're a lucky guy, but we assume there aren't. But what if you just tell them or put in the video caption, like, yeah, my parents are in the room next to me or... I have to be quiet, otherwise they hear me, it's so, oh, so risky, whatever. It's the forbidden fantasy, for example. He thinks, wow, what if she gets caught? Now it's interesting. Now you made this stuff interesting for him. Now he's in a blockbuster. Now there's a movie going on. Oh, does she get caught? I don't know, it's interesting. Now this video is worth double because the perceived value just went from here to fucking here. And this is the point why branding is even a thing or putting a niche there, niching your creator in some way because it makes the difference between very low perceived value and wow, I will pay everything for it just to see her naked, whatever. Yeah, every one of you knows this basically. You've all living with this your entire life, but no one ever said it to you. There's always, if you were a little boy, there was like this movie star, like whatever, Megan Fox or whoever. She's a Satanist, I don't recommend that. But as a boy, you were like, oh, she's so hot, you know her, you see her in every movie. Like the thought of being intimate with her was like way more interesting than with like some random actress because you actually had a crush on her, you knew her from movies, she's famous, whatever. So the perceived value is up here. That's why all the big stars on OFM, like Bad Baby, Corinna Koff, whatever. This is why they make so much money because they're so famous, so unique, and people just know, see their face everywhere. This, that means their perceived value is super, super high. So, and this not only applies to chatting. I mean, yeah, this is the content script example. I gave you that, you understand it. This also goes to TikTok. At the start of your funnel, you should already imply a perceived value that the guys feel. Let me give you another example. If you're on TikTok 
And you creator just does straight up TikToks all the time, like, yeah, blah, 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 I'm so horny all the time, I want to suck this, whatever. Like, there's not me really a lot of value into being sexual with her because obviously she's like doing it with everyone, you know what I mean? So it's not really that interesting, but there are some girls on TikTok who do exactly the opposite. 2021 OFM TikTok in a nutshell, basically, but it starts to work again. It's like, yo, I wish I could find a man, whatever. I'm so lonely. I don't even date because I'm so shy, whatever. Now people think, oh, there's a, there's a value in like, talking with her because I'm, I will be the only one who sees her like intimate, whatever. Now you just added value to your creator without even making the people sub in the first place. This is this all comes after this, but this way you increase your conversion, your views or whatever. So every single aspect of the business, you can name me now, you can name me whatever aspect. And I can tell you how you can imply the value of the product of the creator and just the perceived value alone will double or triple the revenue you're doing instantly. This is what I wanted to talk about. I believe you get the point. If you want to know more about this, just read the two free eBooks I have created. There are links in the bio. You can find them absolutely for free, no sign up, whatever. And if that's not enough, just join 2000 other like-minded OFM agency owners who just got together in my community to help each other crush this business every single day. Also completely for free. So join, we'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day, bye-bye.